when the Minnesota Fighting Vikings decided to roll the dice on free agent uh, edge rusher Marcus Davenport, you're thinking, okay, maybe he can pan out on some of that potential, uh, but he's got to stay healthy, right? And the best laid plans of mice and men, Davenport wearing the number zero. Apparently that's the impact that he's going to make on this team so far because I, I, I understand. It's kind of low uh, when fans make fun of players because of injuries, but it, it sort of is what it is at this point. Where Davenport, uh, he's already missed the bulk of the first two games of the season, and he's already been dinged up in training camp, and he missed a lot of time there. So it's not looking great. It's not looking great right now. So it had undisclosed training camp injury, and then before his first game in a Vikings uniform, the Thursday practice, two pra- uh, second practice of the week, uh, he uh, tweaked his ankle, uh, was uh, out for and inactive for the Bucks game week one. Would have been nice to have a more prodigious pass rush on Baker Mayfield, but whatever. Uh, then he was active uh, against the Eagles week two. So you're thinking, okay, here we go. Uh, but then he left after, after four snaps, uh, zero tackles, zero pressure, zero sacks. But it's kind of rough. But, uh, again, I, I understand why Quasey did sign Marcus Davenport. You're rolling the dice on all that potential, and you're, you're hoping that he can stay – uh, healthy, but uh, again, all that potential that made him the number 14 pick uh, back in 2018. That Saints trading up two first round picks to go get him. The pride of UTSA, go Roadrunners. David Morgan, the second, his alma mater, and he's shown flashes. He absolutely has. Uh, no, notably, that 2021 season uh, where he had nine stacks and uh, in 11 games. And the the downside is is the constant injuries where he's missed 18 of a possible uh, 82 NFL uh, games so far through his five-year career. And it's just it, it's just something that, that always pops up. And it'd be one thing if it was one consistent injury. You just point to that, okay. But it's sort of been all over the place. So he's got the ankle now. He's had a shoulder injury. Uh, he's had uh, an elbow uh, injury. He's had uh, toe sprains. He's had uh, Liz Frank. He's had... It's been all over the place. So, you know, it's tough to label a player injury prone, but, I mean, that's sort of what it's looking like uh, with Marcus Davenport. And, you know, with Davenport, uh, he certainly does have all the talent in the world. He certainly is a physical freak, and he has shown it at the NFL level. But just staying on the field, the best uh, ability is availability, and we haven't quite seen that. And, frankly, it was reflected in the contract uh, that Kwesi and the Vikings gave him, where you know, one year, $10 million guarantee, uh, eight and a half of it was in signing bonus, but also $2 million of it was in per-game uh, active bonuses as well. So that does factor in where if he's not active and out on the field, uh, it's going to eat into his compensation and, and save the Vikings uh, a little bit of cap space. But hopefully Davenport does get his ankle right, and we'll get some uh, updates this week as the Vikings are getting ready for the Chargers. Ten days off in between games could uh, help that ankle, which would be great because uh, the Vikings edge rushing uh, outside of Daniel Hunter has not been great. So Wanham, uh, in a contract year, has been getting the bulk of the work. Uh, only one pressure, zero sacks. Uh, Patrick Jones' second PGA 2 has put in uh, some nice work in uh, some limited capacity, three pressures. Benton Whitley, one and done. One snap, one pressure, baby. Now, should he have sacked Baker Mayfield week one? Ish, ish. Uh, yeah, but uh, da- but uh, uh, Davenport has hasn't been out there, and ideally the Vikings w- would like to have him out there because I think that given what Flores wants to do in this attacking scheme, uh, it's exactly what plays into Davenport's uh, wheelhouse. He's a great stand-up outside linebacker when he's healthy and on the field. He's got all the physical tools in the world. I think that he would feast opposite of Daniel Hunter, uh, especially when he's uh, only getting singled up uh, and getting less attention. And I think that knocking on all the wood, hopefully that ankle is good to go. Hopefully his health the rest of the season is good to go. And hopefully you know, Quasey's gamble on Davenport uh, will pay off this season. But your thoughts are thoughts on Mark Stav- Davenport hasn't really been out there uh, so much this season. Hopefully his ankle heals up. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.